Gracious Father in heaven, praise and honor to your name. We would like to thank you for your goodness, love, provision, protection and care. Thank you so much Lord for the new day that give us new hope. We will ask your Holy Spirit Father God, to be with us, to guide us, and help us understand your word as we open our devotion this morning. Help us to digest thy message O Lord and help us to continue to grow in faith. We ask your forgiving mercy O God and help us to be worthy to be called your children. This we ask in the most precious name of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen. Some people have a hard time admitting they're wrong, or that they've made a mistake. Instead of owning up to their fault, they immediately go into defensive mode and try to justify their actions. But making excuses for your own blunders doesn't change what you did, nor does it make you look good in the eyes of others. Most of the time people see right through your attempts to make yourself appear blameless, and you really haven't fooled anyone but yourself. More importantly, you can't fool God. Self-preservation is a natural human response, but it can be a deceptive one. It's easier to see the faults in others than it is to see your own sin. But just look in the mirror and take a good look at what is wrong in your own life. You'll have a full-time job keeping yourself on the right path. No need to point out the faults of others. The Bible says in Luke 6, verses 41 through 42, And why do you look at the speck in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the plank in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, Brother, let me remove the speck that is in your eye, when you yourself do not see the plank that is in your own eye? Hypocrite! First, Remove the plank from your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck that is in your brother's eye. No one is perfect. Everyone is a sinner. So instead of focusing on everyone else's problems, work on yours. Ask God to help you see the sin in your own life more than you see the faults of others. And don't forget to ask him for an extra measure of...